Hello and welcome to this how-to video from Blue Prism University. During this video you'll learn how to use tags to filter work queue items in the Blue Prism control room. A tag is a keyword which can be assigned to work queue items. Once added to a work queue item, tags can be filtered and viewed in the queue management tab of the Blue Prism control room. Please ensure you're familiar with how to add or remove tags from work queue items prior to watching this video. Visit the Blue Prism University for more information on adding tags to work queue items. The tag filter looks like a text filter, but it doesn't work in quite the same way. Using the tag filter, you can search for items which have specific tags or which do not have specific tags, or a combination of both. Let's take a look at how to filter by tag in the control room. Here we can see Q8, which has a total of 501 rows. To search for items with a specific tag, just enter that tag into the filter. The text is not case sensitive. Optionally, prefix it with the plus symbol. So account type personal or plus symbol account type personal will filter any items which have been assigned that specific tag. Here we can see it returns 162 results, which include items also tagged as overdrawn account. To search for items which do not have a specific tag, enter that tag into the filter prefixed with a minus symbol. For example, minus insufficient information will filter for any items which do not have that tag assigned. Here we can see these items have been removed from the results. A tag filter can include a number of tags, up to a maximum of nine. Each item must be separated by a semicolon, and they are all applied to the search, meaning they are AND terms, not OR terms. So a filter of plus account type personal, semicolon, minus balance overdrawn will return only items for personal accounts which are not overdrawn. As we can see here, that's 141 rows. Finally, let's take a look at using wildcards. Tag searches support two wildcards. An asterisk character can be used to search for any other characters, and a question mark can be used to search for any single character. For example, plus account type B asterisk semicolon plus priority question mark will return items which have a tag beginning account type. B and a tag beginning priority followed by a single character. Here we can see both priority one and priority two business customers. Or a filter of minus priority question mark will return which items have a tag beginning count type B, but do not have a tag beginning priority, followed by a single character. So in this case, 
only business customers. Thank you for watching this video on using tags to filter work queue items in the Blue Prism control room. If you want to learn more about any of the Blue Prism products, please visit the Blue Prism University via the link in the description below. Or visit Blue Prism University community to get support from other members and participate in various discussions. Again, there's a link in the description below.